Blue Tech Week is a week-long conference bringing together some of the best companies and individuals looking to solve issues related to our ocean. Today, I will summarize two sessions that provided insight into solutions in two different industries. The first session covered clean shipping. This was a presentation of solutions to help solve the problem of transoceanic shipping emissions. Solutions involved both alternative fuel sources and fuel reduction methods. The first solution shared was using alternative fuels. The company Shipping Insight is planning to use alternative fuel sources to achieve true zero carbon emissions in shipping. The main alternate fuels that were discussed include natural gas, methanol, ammonia, nuclear, and more. And while there's no perfect solution to choosing a fuel source, many of these alternative fuels offer benefits over traditional methods. The next solution presented was to use wind energy to assist propelling ships across the ocean. The International Wind Ship Association is currently looking at hybrid options where winds can be used to assist fuel powered ships, reducing fuel consumption. The benefit to this solution is that all technology is currently available and no new port infrastructure is required. Finally, the company PropSpeed shared their propeller surface roughness reduction, anti-fouling and foul release coating, which when applied to metal components underneath the water on ships, performance is increased and maintenance is de decreased. This not only assists company with fuel savings, it also allows companies to save funds on maintenance costs. The second session discussed conservation and recycling of water. It was a presentation of new innovations in the wastewater management field. Topics discussed included both sewer content and overflow monitoring, as well as water filtration. The first water management solution shared was from a company named Century. Their device is able to provide data regarding organic loading and toxic shocks in our sewer system. The low maintenance device allows more units to be deployed throughout the system without increasing maintenance staff. A similar solution is a manhole mounted sewer monitoring system from Smart Cover. This system alerts wastewater managers when sewage levels rise above normal levels. This device is designed to prevent sewage system overflows, which can cause major environmental problems. Finally, NX Filtration shared their water filtration membranes that have been developed to filter both water and wastewater. The water filtration system provides clean and safe drinking water, while when used to filter wastewater, they prevent pollutant discharge and allow for industrial reuse of water. All in all, Blue Tech Week was a great experience. Speakers from around the world presented new and innovative ideas that offer a piece of a solution to this complex problems that we face. It was interesting to me that environmentally conscious solution often resulted in a lower overall cost and were not more expensive to implement. Speakers also encouraged students in their interest in the industry and appeared to be encouraged themselves by interest student had. And I would like to give a special thanks to all organizers, moderators, and speakers at Blue Tech Week. I would also like to thank the sponsors of Blue Tech that made the event possible, as well as CSU Channel Islands ESRM 462 class, 
and the IRA committee, which provided funding for the ESRM 462 class to attend the event. 